fuck? What's in <laughs> what's in all these places? Uh, the I was listing off the places the new uh, blue mage spells were. Ah. I actually have to level up my blue mage quite significantly to be able to get into any of those. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, no. Just have to find somebody willing to help me to get to Eddie real quick. Yeah. Which just involves someone killing mobs ten levels below them. Geralt seems yep. even less enthused to see you than unusual. I mean, I'm not opposed to doing that to help out someone. Yeah. That's not what we're oh, going to do right now. Yeah, I join you right now, but... I suppose that respectful thought that right. made some quick. kind of breath... Wire now. Break to uh, need to round illusion. up the Illusion, when you're suspects. done with your weapon, I'm going to need you to come to Goblin and unlock Criterion. I shall inform his lordship of your arrival. Because I don't think you can do cross server parties for it. That's fine. I'll, I'll move over here and once I get done. Welcome, welcome. I, do hope uh, I need to clear out my armory. I do hope you're you are prepared for another spot of modest labor, for I have plucked a new weapon smithing secret from the depths of my family's extraordinary heirloom. As for why Godbrand abandoned his cipher journals, which would seem he desired the greater security afforded by the relics recording apparatus. They so feared his knowledge fell into wicked hands bespeaks this destructive potential of what we seek to recreate. Speaking of which, this stage of augmentation will require a fundamental alteration of the weapons and race design. Godbrand understood that individual users have different needs and preferences, and thus conceived a method to modify each armament's base qualities. Essentially, the process is a new type of oil known as Max, Max, Lander, Max Manderville. By subtly adjusting the precise ratio of ingredients for this coating, we can influence the paths of a theoretical conductivity as we see fit. More bloody oil. The oil's chief ingredient is once again derived from meteorite, especially in a chondrite with an amplifying properties. Ah, so many of out of this world materials, but tis unsurprising now that we know know the alien origin of Godburn's weaponsmithing techniques. And Garrett's like, what? Alien origins, you say? Little wonder I weren't familiar with them. Ah, uh, has as has become customary, I shall prepare the bulk of the necessary resources as well as to procure our supply of a chondrite. Oh, uh, and a lovely bl bloody custom, that is. Many of your means, I reckon we could buy a mountain of them space rocks as well. And I would gladly do so, except the merchant in question will accept not less than a specific type of tombstone in trade. As much as it pains me to impose upon Kyrian further, she is the best equipped to handle that onerous task. These improvements call for a drastic reforging. It is your expertise that shall see us succeed or fail as well, Master Geralt. Fine, fine, no sh shut me gob and do as I'm told. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm getting the distinct impression you've lost interest in this project. You bloody think? Look, I took this job to pay off my drinking debts. Now I've managed that, I've got no desire to keep working for an underdressed, over overprimed, pretentious arse. I see, admittedly, even from the beginning, your distaste for me was rather poorly concealed. I fear such festering antagonism will adversely affect our smithing endeavors. Yes, let us resolve our differences over a flagon of fine spirits or several, as circumstances dictate. All at my expense, of course. Free liquor, is it? Then you'd best be bringing your biggest purse. You must join us. If you'll be so kind as to share a table with the methane, I shall be along in short order. So, Godbert yeah. and Geralt having a drinking contest? This will be entertaining. Wait, did they add the new...
Okay, so the new blue title for doing Eden Savage is Forbidden Blue. I like that title. That does sound pretty awesome. I'm assuming there's a mount with it for doing everything? No, not yet. What? I spent a night for spirit doing all of Eden? Hmm? For doing all of Eden? You sure about this then, Arya? I have a mighty thirst and it'll not be slaked by the cheap stuff. What of you? Will you be following Master Garrett's fine example? Nah, why not? Very well, then I shall order for for us all the same to start. Your beverage, Lord Godbert, enjoy. To your health, my friends. Right, no point beating around the bush. I've had your guts for a good long while now. So even my insides offend you. And why might that be? Because for a proper artisan, devotion to your craft ought to be your number one priority. But you are you are off found a consortium or building some fool's playground for fleecing the masses. You're you're a bloody merchant, that's what you are. You believe my devotion is insufficient, then? Yet our works require not only the sweat of our brow, but capital to cover expenses, no? Thus, does not a steady revenue facilitate the creative process? In that respect, my business ventures have always allowed me to indulge in goldsmithing projects I could never have otherwise afforded. Is it not true that you craft kettles as a means to repay loans or simply make ends meet? Would not a substantial source of wealth spare you such tedious drudgery and empower you to pursue your heart's desire? Booze. We're going to need more booze over here. <laughs> what really served me was when you set your ass on the syndicate. How can you craft a lot worthwhile with your head buried in political shite? I may be surprised my participation in Olda's governance opened my eyes to a different world, which in turn provided great inspiration for several original pieces. Well, you can keep your bloody lead in inspiration. <laughs> I want nothing to do with prissy rule makers of your ilk. <laughs> We're still in our first. Let's see, six, seven, eight over there, plus two bot, three bottles. It, you're, you're in our bloody reasonable arguments. Rich sods ain't got a clue what it's like to, for poor buggers like me. What we've got against wearing clothes any road. We are more alike than you realize, Master Girl, especially when it comes to the simplicity of our attire. I so all clear now you're the master craftsman and I'm a sudden failure a failure Marina where do you how do you ah bugger I'm a sorry excuse for Smitty and that's all that matters 
This is who was saying you were someone else. Perhaps you could offer him a kind word. That that means a lot come from you. Thanks. Right, I'm done weeping to me cups. I'll fix up them weapons and to hell's with the money. I'll do it for me own damn sense of pride. Looks like Master Carol has overcome his aversion uh, to our partnership. Splendid. Although I never would have guessed car characters would be so intoxicating. What? I was concerned for a good smith's health, you see, and had Malio switch his spirits to something less potent several rounds ago. The Mahane liquors are sublime, but too much can wreak havoc on a man's constitution. <laughs> There was a time when I, too, devoted every waking moment to my craft. But last, running a mercantile empire comes with its own responsibilities. Monetary woes notwithstanding, I do envy Master Geralt his purity of purpose. And on that note, let us return to our appointed acquisitions. We shall cry our three chunks of this aforementioned chondrite as soon as you are able. Yep, that did it. Okay. That's all I wanted to know. What were you needing to know or wanting to know? Uh, I was testing the experience points here on Blue Mage. Oh, nice. It was 167,000 for that one kill. Ooh. What were you what what were you killing? A Tempest mob. You got your weapon yet? No, I'm buying the uh, the Achondrite stuff now. I I was listening to the drunken conversation between uh, Godbert and Geralt. You're a drunken conversation. Sounds good to me. I I was in luck. The I went to the liquor store and they had a bunch more of that cherry vanilla rum. Nice. They only had four bottles left, so I bought all four. Damn, boy. You, uh... No, I haven't drank in... Well, that... Year. That, that stuff is so smooth and easy to go down, you don't realize how much you're drinking, and so it goes quickly. Hmm. Uh, I... I think... I know that was, it was really long ago, and a lot of things happened since then, but uh, that Mario Kart stream, what was that, like a year and a half ago? I, I downed near like a bottle of that stuff during that stream. Oh, I need to put on a different weapon. Ah, uh, the heat of the f me furnace is me buff, me. all sobered up. Let's have some special rocks then. Ah, uh, I reckon that's enough. But there, there's one other thing that's been bothering me. Was Rulia there at the main? I don't rightly remember. 
Forget, let's get his lordship over here and before I lose my will to forge. Close enough. <laughs> Now for the finishing touch, the Maxillamanderville oil. Before we can finalize the mixture, however, we must tell, must tell us how you wish your weaponry to serve you in battle. The ratio of the code and its ingredients will greatly influence the armament's various qualities, so think carefully ere you give your answer. Uh, so what stats do I want to put on this? Uh... Direct hit, crit. Well, you want crit first. Okay. Then direct hit. Then direct hit. Yeah. Okay. And then probably determination. I don't think you need skill speed as a bard. I could be wrong, though. I don't know. I really don't think Bard needs skill speed. But it's such a small amount anyway, I don't think it matters either way. Understood, your wish is our command. See that bow? That's not bad. And tis done. You're holding the result of an undying devotion to crafting excellence. A majestic Manorville harp bow. I'm not near as amused with it, though. Had you not so bravely confessed your grievances that evening, I dare say this degree of collaborative work would have remained unattainable. Aye, well, me memory's a mile fuzzy on that score, but I'm taking victories where I can get them. Bards always get the poopy under the deal. As always, Kieran, would you wish to enhance All other people's right, weapons meet. You only say the word. My diligent yeah, retainer is at your service. Maybe. Lord Gobbert, though it seems me to admit the expertise necessary to manufacture the oil is beyond my limited alchemical knowledge. Don't look at me. If I could mix magic potions, I'd grown my hair back long ago. I'm aware it would prove an unsurmountable feat for you as well, which is why I've employed a master alchemist. Bloody odd taste in clothes, but at least he's wearing some. Our newest addition to the House Manderville routine will assist with further augmentations and oversee the preparations of the oil. You'll also be available to readjust your weapons of property should you but bring them the required quantity of a chondrate. This has been a monumental step forward, my friends. Yet one stage remains ere the Manderville weaponry evolution can be considered complete. I knew you was leading up to that. Let me guess. We're to sit here in breathless bleeding and anticipation while you sort out what comes next. Precisely. Preparing the precise process is like to be a lengthy endeavor, so I do suggest you continue breathing. The final step is upon us. Pray indulge this ambition of mine one last time. I don't know, I didn't get a good enough look at it yet to really see whether I like it. Just from the the front on view of it, it wasn't too bad, but it's what the the back part of it actually looks like that will bother me. Yeah, I mean the bard weapon is okay. Oh wait, that's I'm not, not the biggest fan of it, but then again I won't won't be getting it anytime soon, so Yeah. Yeah, right, the goblin and meet us in Charlayan. Not the worst bow that they've had, but nowhere near the best. But we haven't really had a good-looking bow since the last stage of the Realm Reborn relic. Okay.
need you to move that bard booty, sir. I'm working on it. <laughs> Only so fast I can move it. Although, 